So a couple of words on, on social anxiety. Uh, I'll share, you know, how I overcame it and um, the work that I do. I've been coaching for most 11 years now. It doesn't feel like that, but, but it is. And um, there's many things I could cover, but I've covered so many things on, on YouTube and conversations, but I'll cover this. I think it's important. The mindset that I used to be in, and I know that millions of people are in around the world who have social anxiety, who have this issue, which is, it can be uh, debilitating. You know, the mindset is, is that you want to protect yourself from being um, hurt, judged, awkward, failure. It's a huge sensitivity around things going wrong, other people not liking you or shame. It's all in this area. Um, so, you know, um, what people do is, and what I used to do for many years is, you know, they protect themselves and they don't really come out of the house or, you know, it's almost like, um, living a very small life where you're, you're in a comfort zone. You go to the same shop, you want to control everything because you kind of feel that in your head, you'll be safer that way and you, and you will be safer. But the problem is with the safety and the controlling and the being careful and, wanting to hide and be ashamed is it it just tortures you eventually it's it's soul destroying heartbreaking and you, and you don't realize how, how much it's harming you so the better suffering is at your at your own pace or a steady pace to gradually get out into the world this is what i did if i didn't do this i wouldn't wouldn't even be able to make this video now I wouldn't be traveling so i, I did it over a you know several years of um you know going to the boxing gym and um being afraid but doing it anyway you know feeling awkward feeling embarrassed just feeling different just getting myself down there and that's success that's how you get better it doesn't really matter what you think people are thinking or your own thoughts your worries your anxieties as long as you can move forward and and push yourself you're going to get more confident and with becoming more confident it's such a lovely thing you start to care a little bit less about what people think because the more you care about people the less confidence you have the more confidence you have in yourself and for me confidence not about being arrogant about having humility so it's a nice healthy balance that is positive the less you care and that's because you're not focusing on what do people think of me and in even better places when you're confident it's like well i'm happy in myself what can I give others? I want to, you know, I want to be more kind, a better listener, better person, less of um, trying to get things from people. So these are the positive things that come and many, many more things come. But you just feel better emotionally. So, you know, I can see now where people go wrong and where I went wrong for so many years in, in protecting myself. I only hurt myself more by hiding and putting things off and, you know, not starting a business not looking for a relationship, not getting out there, not, not enjoying life, not traveling, missing out on so many things. So I'm sure if you watch this video, I'm confident that I might save a lot of people um, wasting the time that, that I did. I got there in the end and that's my story and I'm proud of it. Everyone's different. It's better, obviously, if you can save time. But yeah, really, you don't lose anything. You, you actually you gain, you meet new people. It's a great feeling when you can... When you've come from such a bad place of anxiety and being so, um, 